Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. How are you doing? For those of you that are new here, I am a professional intuitive empath and I'm so happy to share some energy with you today. Today, we're going to get right into the subject matter, which is candle scrying. So to scry means to look into and it's something that is done in the metaphysical world, whether it's a piece of obsidian or a mirror. It's essentially what was happening if you saw Snow White, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all, and then the world opens up behind it. That was scrying. Uh, that's what she was doing. I have it in the comment there for you you. But what I do is candle scrying. Now I was never taught this. So there are videos here on YouTube. It's just something that I've always done. You can do it in a couple different ways by taking a tapered candle and anchoring it properly and making sure you're in a well ventilated area and putting it on a plate and letting it drip. And what you do is you essentially read the puddles that form. And I know you're thinking, read the puddles. That seems insane. Well, I'm going to walk you through a little exercise where we read something. I'm going to put a little bit more light here on the subject so that you can probably see this better okay so there's when you candle scry what happens is you burn a candle and i did one in a glass jar so i'm going to tell you what i got out of this so that you can start to open up your mind because this is how we use our intuition ladies divine feminines uh empaths and light workers we are able to paint with all the colors of the wind and i have a video coming up about that but what that means you know pocahontas you know we heard that in the little you know song and paint with all the colors of the wind and vanessa will William saying that. However, happy Black History Month, by the way. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, one of the first, one of the best. Um, but what I will tell you, isn't it funny how she got scandalized and now everybody has a sex tape and everybody's done anything? She was like a trailblazer. Yes, Black excellence. Anyway, um, what I will say here is uh, that the candle scrying, I just burned this candle, but it's something, when I say paint with all the colors of the wind, there are a million ways that we can utilize our intuition. And people think it's relegated to like, I'm pulling cards or I'm doing this. No, intuition happens in every single way. Whether you're seeing an animal outside, that's an animal totem of yours. Whether you're seeing a leaf blow in a certain direction, there is a message. And this is how the Native Americans or indigenous folks actually existed, lived. And this is what we know to be true. And this is how a lot of indigenous cultures live. They pay attention to to their surroundings to the earth and they're grounded and then they look at what's happening and then they make decisions from that well with our candle scrying and candle work i'm not doing work on anybody that's not anything i do i'm all white light i'm all jesus angels and god that's me all day but this was just a candle i burn candles every day for fun because i love bath and body works because sometimes those sales are bomb so this is very practical and down to earth guys but i will tell you what i saw in this candle and i'm going to show you some of the things i saw in this candle so that you can identify for yourself um how to begin to candle scry so that you know what you're seeing. All right. So I burned this and I burned this at the, from pretty, from the beginning of December, pretty much to the end. Now, one of the things that caught me first right away, I don't know if you guys can see that right here, right there, that, that to me, when I was done with this candle, look like tracking marks, like track marks. Let me, let me see if you can see that. What I mean by that is it looked to me like a paw print. And so during December, I was having a lot of um, spiritual war warfare stuff going on. And what I knew about this when I was done was that I was being tracked. <laughs> I know that sounds like a little creepy and scary, but it was true. I knew that energetically that negative energies or entities were paying attention. I knew what they were coming from and whom they were from. But I was like, oh, got it, got it. <laughs> um, so those paw prints there helped me to understand that someone was tracking me because it looked to me me when I saw it, like footprints in the snow. Okay. So that was one thing that happened. Then another thing that came up to me was this, this formation here. Can you guys see that? Now this looks like a lot of things to me. The first thing that came to my mind was Pangea. I know you're like, what, <laughs> how does that look like Pangea to you? But to me, it looked like Pangea. Now, when I thought of Pangea, I thought of Chance the Rapper and he talks about a line and I'll connect it below where he says, I'm taking everything from here to Pangea. But what it represented to me, Pangea is the idea that every, um, that the earth was one big land mass and that it broke apart and separated and that's how come we have our various uh, seven continents and whatnot right so i was dealing with in that month really putting to bed and getting closure from my angels regarding past relationships and stuff like that and so everything was breaking apart and spreading and then the other thing that i saw in it was a rising sun do you see the sunset here or do you see the sun and i saw it was like uh, to me it wasn't setting 
it was rising. It was like, yes, everything's broken apart, but now we're lifting you back up. The other thing is this was a day of the dead candle and I peeled off the wrapper. Um, I don't know why I did, I just did. But then all that was left was this little rose. You see that rose there, guys? And so what I saw when I saw that rose, is if you know Day of the Dead, it's covered with flowers. It's a skull with the flowers. And um, when I saw that rose, because you, it's like almost imprinted on the thing. You can't scrape it off. I don't know how it's stuck on that way. And I thought of Seal, kiss from the rose of a grave, right? Something was ending, Pangea, separation. And then I was hearing, ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba Yes, it, it helped me so much. I don't know why I heard that. I also heard a rose, a concrete rose through the concrete. And that was the energy of that. And as we went down, um, there are all these rings as the wax was evaporating and I saw sediment and I saw if you see those rings very much it looks like sediment if you were studying the topography of the earth and I was thinking about all of the layers that I had to excavate all the things that I had to dig to the bottom of in order to get my spiritual release from a situation so even though there weren't a lot of messages in this candle and maybe you'll only get one I got a few that were pretty powerful the Pangea one was really really powerful in that chance wraps I met Kanye West I'm never going to fail I, I know Jesus Jesus Christ, I'm never going to hell. Y'all, when I saw this at the end of December, I I went and listened to the song and I'll connect the song below. I think it's called um, Ultra Light Beam. And it was very indicative of what I was going through. It wasn't about Kanye West, but but the part about I'm, I know Jesus Christ, I'm never going to fail. When I saw Pangea here, I thought no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The steps of a good man or woman are ordered by the Lord um, that he will never leave or forsake you. He is the footprints in the sand. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. I know Jesus Christ, I'm never going to hell. This wasn't even about hell or heaven. It was the idea that if we're on earth, sometimes it can be hellacious, yeah? And God was saying to me, I got you, daughter like Pangea. It's broke apart and still I have kept you guys all going as one world, as one nation. Even though you're not together, we now know that we are more alike than ever after this pandemic. Pangea, pandemic, breaking apart, coming together, the remembrance that we are one. Bigger lessons than just the things that were going on in my life. It was a big overarching lesson about the idea that there is perfect divine order even in the things that seem catastrophic and that the sun will rise again. That, my friends, is how you candle scry. It is not so deep. You can read books about it because God bless all of our authors. They will write a book about anything, myself included. But it's just about your intuition. If you get the puddling on the plate, you look in there and you see what you see. Don't overthink it. The message that you need will pop out to you. I knew what I needed, but I didn't go looking. When I knew that I was being tracked, I doubled up on my salt baths. I doubled up on my sage burning and my protection. And I said a karate chop to the energy. Not today, Satan. Thank you for letting me know, angels. When I saw the sediment, I said, okay, I'm going to keep digging till I get to the bottom of this. And when I saw the sunrise, I said, amen. And so it is. The sun will rise again. I'm a Leo, so that sun was very important. That is very much associated with our sign. Indeed, the sun has risen again. All right, guys, come back and join me next time. And we will continue to scry together, not cry together, but we'll do that too, and to evolve together. For those of you that are interested, I will be doing a free giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, five 30-minute readings. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment below. And for those of you that are even more interested immediately, I will be for the next 11 months doing one free giveaway once a month of a 10-minute reading for the best comment below. So please tell me your story about candle scrying. Have you done it? Have you tried it? Do you think it's balderdash? I want to know. Come back and join me, guys. See you soon.